Hello everyone, this is Gorax. In today's video, I will go over three heroes that I believe are the best ones, or rather my favorite ones, in Season 3. These heroes might be different to your top three, so please share yours in the comment section. I will start with third place, which is Rook the Mice Lord. Rook has taken place as a king of the rat race, which is temporal vortex, taking it by the storm after fourth week of the season 3. Rook is the exclusive hero for corrosion damage type and has infinite scaling based on his allies damage done. His early game though is not easy and he can be replaced by any other damage dealer. It is until level 100 when his crew starts dealing good damage, he becomes monster and the stronger other corrosion enablers are, the stronger he becomes. If you bring someone with attack down, Emperor Set is out damaging the aerial one and even when you don't have the exclusive artifact, there are multiple alternatives which you can find in a dedicated Rook video on my channel. While Rook is by far one of the strongest damage dealers in the game, Lately, I've been more convinced that this is the supports that are making or breaking the teams. Hence, our rank 2 is one of them, or should I say two of them. Season 3 has introduced a newly wed couple, Fenja and Fiumidor, who have a unique link between them and thus I have placed them together as rank 2. Fenja is an amazing healer which passive can heal the team members when they receive a buff and when the buff duration is finished or removed, which makes the ultimate heal twice. We should also mention her early damage as it's quite significant, able even to clear low level goblin lair waves. Building her with the new puppeteer set, which is my favorite, and moonlight mantle mythic chest is a great combo that will help your team stay alive. Theomedor, while on the field with his wife, can become invincible, making early game Grave of Venom quite easy. His damage is scaling with defense stat, which makes him a powerful PvP hero that is able to obliterate enemies with a single cast. This damage can also be utilized in PvE content. Another amazing thing is the board taunt allowing him to take enemy assassins of your team. You want to build him with as much defense as possible, but also some accuracy to ensure he can taunt the enemies. Don't forget about some crit rate if you want to surprise PvP players. While they are good on their own, they really shine together. If you think Garius with Gatekeeper staff is good, Wait till you hear about the next hero. My season 3 rank 1 is Cinaril. Cinaril is a healer, debuffer and damage dealer as his skill scale with attack. His passive allows him to apply attack penalty on enemies without the need of accuracy and he heals himself when healing an ally. Battle skill has a good way of applying attack penalty on a single target as it hit three times and heals an ally, but it is his ultimate that is just out of this world. It dispels one ally debuffs and grant him invincibility for five seconds. When this effect ends, he deals huge damage to all enemies and heal all allies by 500% of his attack. The scaling here is tremendous and using gatekeeper staff on him will cover our team with shields just as big as the ones applied by Garius. If you think his kit is strong, imagine that he has almost 100% attack penalty upkeep on a single target such as temporal vortex boss. You should build him with as much attack percentage as possible and Moonline Mantle to boost the healing and the shield. You can also build him with crit rate and crit damage and use the aerial set to further boost his attack. Cinaril is by far my most wanted hero, especially if we can expect fire poison in the next season. Imagine Ogok and Cinaril in one team, followed by Rook and his crew. So this was my top 3 for this season, 
please let me know in the comment section below which ones are yours. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.